let's just try <laughs> to get past the pirates. Okay, so spare then flirt. Okay. For a couple of turns, so I'm gonna assume that actually does mean to then flirt with him and then him spare for the remainder. Did I just finish this? Cause I did it as a pure whim of I was losing over and over again and if it said fight papyrus, I said no just now and now I'm getting this. Is this the game taking pity on me? She say let's be friends. I feel like the game's taking pity on me. <laughs> Oh my god. Could I have saved myself so much frustration by just not hitting A over and over again? Oh, when you reach it, you have to cross the barrier. Except some. Oh. oh my god, I thought I'd be stuck on this forever. And I probably will be in the future, but I didn't know there was a the game sparing me. <laughs> Feels like that's what the game did. Yeah, I feel really pathetic for it, but oh my god. That was odd that he went off path. Okay. I'm hoping that was okay. I really just... I was hitting A and going back into that fight over and over again. And I was going to hit the recording or the audio to start recording. When I actually got through it or got to the point where it said spare. Highlighted in yellow. And then I just realized, oh, I can say not to fight him. And then it gave me that cutscene. And now I'm so relieved because I don't have to fight him anymore. Yay! Ah, <laughs> uh, both because I like the virus. It's not my favorite. Sans is my favorite still. But I'm going for passwords anyway, so I wasn't 
I knew I wasn't going to break down and actually kill him or anything, because not going for that at all, but I'm glad at least to be able to progress, <laughs> get past that fight at the very least, and I know I'm going to have a lot more trouble in the future. <laughs> Welcome to the scenic my house. Not yet. The door is locked and it looks like it's on fire. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans, please pick up your sock. Okay, don't put it back down, move it. Okay, you moved it two inches, move it to your room. Okay, and don't bring it back. Okay, it's still here. Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it. Oh, kitchen. Okay. Where's my culinary? Half of her just filled with containers all of spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. An empty bag of chips? Recently he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with sugary non-egg substance. Oh wow, what? With a mysterious seal. Upon closer inspection, it's actually pretty shoddily made. It will probably naturally fall off by the time your journey is nearly over. Okay, so basically, come back later. That thing on the floor with the smiling face is kind of terrifying. It seems it lost the will to fight. Yeah, well, it's scaring me. That's not a nice looking expression. Okay, Sans Freck Rock. And he forgets to feed it. Of course he does. The rock is covered in sprinkles. I love sprinkles. <laughs> sprinkles are the best. My favorite game show. So stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. <laughs> uh, it's a joke book. Take a look inside. Oh my god, this is gonna be painful. <gasps> inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics books was another joke book. Inside, there's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. Okay. Let's go into his room, I guess. Go inside. Yes. That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair. Sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a drink. So then instead, I cruise while I snooze. It's dangerous to sleep and drive the virus. A chubbing, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Santa! Advanced puzzle construction for critical minds. The next book's another one of my favorites. Being a boo with a fluffy bunny. The ending always gets me. The internet! I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double digit follower count. That means he has like negative three. 
For him to need 12 people <laughs> to follow him, he has negative three. <laughs> Is open to a social media site. Okay. There are no skeletons inside my closet. Except me. Sometimes. Inside the closet? Yes. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. And there are bones. Those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seemed like it was only yesterday, even though it basically just happened. Okay. Are we done? House? Um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Begin dates. Okay. Dating start. Oh god, what the hell. Dating start. Okay. Here's gonna be the real challenge. Here we are on, on our date. Actually, I've never done this before. But don't worry. You can ant spell prepared without several letters from my name. I'll send you an official dating rule book from the library. We are ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one. Press your controller X for the dating hunt. Oh god. Well, yeah, I feel so informed. <laughs> I think we're ready for step two. Step two. Ask them on a date. Ahem. Human. I, the great papyrus, will go on a date with you. Yes. I guess we need time for part three. Step three, put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a sec. Wear clothing. That bandage hanging off. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that, earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning? Yes. <gasps> no. You planned it all. You're way better at dating than I am. <laughs> Nick. Don't think you're best me yet. I, the great pirates, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! What do you think of my secret style? I love it. No? A genuine compliment? <laughs> However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. This shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. All. I'm gonna improve this way. My hat. My hat. My hat. You found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present! A present just for you. Open it. This is... Uh... Your brain? Oh! That's what it looks like. His brain. Oh! Oh, now I see. It's separated from the skull. The way it's cut and black and white... I can't be blamed right now. <laughs> Somewhere. Silk and spaghetti, finely aged, and open cast, then cooked by me. You take a small bite. Your face tastes is indescribable. fail. <laughs> it's probably impossible to fail. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. 
Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you, I, Papyrus, I, um, boy, is it hot in here, or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I, I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean, I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great papyrus, have failed. I failed just the same as before, and instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. <gasps> Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this never happened. After all, you are very great and it would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help settle for sick. I'll help you settle for second best. Papyrus would be a great friend. If you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Oh, gotta go. Yeah. Yeah, Papyrus would be a fun friend to have. 